and welcome to April Favourites. There's one thing that we need to address first. How on earth is it the end of April? How? I don't actually understand. That is one thing that is not one of my favourites. I am not enjoying the fact that it's already the end of April. But I am enjoying the fact that the weather... I've got hair in my eye. Sorry, I've just been to get my hair done. So, you know, when it just... It's good, but it doesn't sit how you used to it sitting on your head. I don't know. Anyway, what am I talking about? Yes, I am enjoying the fact that the weather is warming up, but just not enjoying the fact that it is the end of April because that is ridiculous. How is it almost like half a year gone? Anyway, um, thank you for stopping by and please, please enjoy this video. If not, I don't know, turn it off right now. But if you want to subscribe, um, then please do. I would love it if you did. Yeah, let's get stuck into this April favourite video. Um, okay, first on my list is running. Apparently, I now run. Now, I know in my last month's favourites, I mentioned the gym. And now for some crazy reason, I've decided to start going out running because I suppose the weather's warming up now. So I just feel like I don't have to hide inside and exercise. I can actually get out and about and go for evening walks and evening runs now, apparently. Um, yeah, I've never been a runner. I think I've done the race for life a couple of times, but yeah, I just kind of did it with no training or anything. I didn't like enjoy it. I just did it. but. Now I'm trying to go out there and enjoy running and I really really am like I don't know what star I don't even know what star is today I just my friend um yeah there's someone I know who is like super into running my friend Tanya she is just like her and her husband do marathons and things and she's just amazing and you know there was a time when she never ran there was a there was a first time for everybody and I just I don't know she's just inspirational I just kind of yeah saw what she was doing and thought you know what let's give it a go so I went for a run with her and I thought to myself I don't really know kind of apologize for the fact that I'm not going to be as fast as her I was like are you sure you want to do this I'm going to be so slow but um I didn't know if I could like how far I was going to be able to run or anything but she had one of these little watch things on that tell you how far you've gone and yeah and time it and everything and I did we actually did five no yeah we did we actually did 5k in 37 minutes now i know that's not great but there were uphill bits and bear in mind this was like my first time going out running in years so yeah so i realized that i could do it and thought you know what i'm gonna go for runs so like every i don't know not every other sometimes i did two in a row two days in a row the other day but i've literally been going out for like 20 minute runs near where i live um and I have actually ordered myself one of these watches, just like a cheap one, so I can actually tell how far I'm going and how fast I'm doing it. So I can kind of give myself little targets to improve on the time. Um, but yeah, running is now a thing that I do. Second April favourite is very much related to the running. Just let me go and get them. I've just realised there's a really loud noise in the background. That is people mowing their lawns because that's what happens when the sun comes out, which I was, <laughs> I was actually saying to Jim, I love the sound of waking up and hearing people mowing their lawns. And now I'm like, shut up, I'm trying to film. So I hope these aren't too dirty. Running trainers. So, oh, I don't even know the last time I bought myself a pair of trainers anyway, but running trainers? What? So obviously, I don't know, obviously, not obviously to you, but I seem to be addicted to this make, Caramore. Just show you there because I've got a t-shirt for exercising, I've got pants for exercising, and now I have trainers in the same make. I don't. I just really like the style of their clothes and they're not badly priced either. Um, so these trainers, I just really liked the color of them and the little pinkness on them, because apparently I like pink now. Pink, pink is a thing now that I like. And they're super comfy. Like, I've never had shoes so comfortable. I got them in a size 9 because the size 8 was a little bit tight and I thought well they've got to be comfortable haven't they so I don't know one thing I don't I don't love about them is that because I'm I've got big feet anyway like big shoes always look even bigger on me I don't have little tiny like petite feet like most women I've got like massive feet so I just think they make them look even bigger but um 
yeah, it's better than me having uncomfortable feet. Like, they're comfortable, they're for running, they're not supposed to look like really nice and sleek, they're supposed to do their job and that is what these do. I can find them online, I will link them in the description bar below anyway. Um, but yeah, these I will be wearing a lot because these are just the best for running in. Um, yeah, help me with my new running hobby. Okay, I just need to check my phone to see what else I've decided is a favourite of this month. I feel like there isn't that many things that can be a favourite. Literally, all my month has consisted of is going to work and exercising and running and that has been, that's been it, really. Okay, so there's been a TV show that I've been addicted to this month, actually. That It's probably not been this month, it's probably been one week because I completely binge-watched it. It's called Divorce on Now TV. I was watching it on. And when I want to watch a show and yeah when I can't find anything to do at home and I just want to sit down and watch something and I, like I'm not in the middle of a particular show I flick through and I just kind of like click on whatever takes my fancy whatever I think oh that might be good that might be good so I clicked on this one just thinking oh no it's all right I'll click on that and I was like addicted straight away it's got the, the main woman is Sarah Jessica Parker from Sex and the City and I mean I watched that years ago I've got the box set I sort of think I could re-watch sometime actually. I don't know whether I'd enjoy it now, I don't know, but I loved it at the time. Um, but yeah, I think, I don't know, I just really, I really like her, so I thought, okay, maybe I'll like this, and I did. It's basically about, I mean, it's called divorce. It's basically about a couple who are getting divorced and just kind of like all the complicated relationships that, and like hurdles they come over trying to get a divorce, basically. Um, and yeah, their relationships with their friends and yeah, they've got a group of friends who, and it kind of tells their stories as well. But yeah, it's kind of, it's not really super emotional or anything. It's just like, but it, but it's a, also slightly a comedy. It's a bit of a mixture, but it's like just a lighthearted thing to watch and kind of girly. But to be fair, Jim caught me watching a couple of episodes, caught me, caught me watching it a couple of episodes and he does this occasionally when I'm watching a show <laughs> and then he'll just like sit down with me and start watching it and then accidentally get drawn in like one season in so he doesn't never see the beginning and just kind of like gets drawn in halfway through but um yeah he did watch a few episodes with me actually and I think he enjoyed it yeah if you're looking for something to watch watch Divorce and I was so gutted you know when it's the last episode and you don't realize because you just kind of like it plays an episode and then you just click watch next episode straight after but it got to like the end and I was like what where's, where's the next episode and it just ended and I was like really sad apparently they're doing a new one but I don't know I don't know when the last favorite bear with me a moment ah. Ah. okay I may have just completely changed the lighting because I went to the kitchen and yeah, moved the light, kind of tripped over the light in the hallway. My last favourite of this month, and I know, I know, we've talked about alcohol before, but we're doing it again, okay? So, this Copperberg drink, it is, <laughs> I think you people must, you people, you people, I think everybody must think I work for Copperberg or something. I don't, I wish that I did. Um, this is a sparkling rosé strawberry cider Copperberg drink. I don't like wine. This isn't wine, but it's seven, no, yeah, seven percent instead of like four percent what Copperberg usually is. And it's a little bit more sparkling rosé, like it's a little bit more sparkly, it's a little bit I don't know, it doesn't taste like wine, but it, it's it got something different about it than just cider. Okay, so my memory card died in the middle of me talking about this delicious thing, so I don't know how much you saw. Um, I will chat it on a little bit more about it. Yeah, so it's just got a lighter kind of flavour than the cider, and it's delicious. Anyway, the reason why I'm talking about this is not only because this is delicious, but I like to drink my Copperberg drinks in a wine glass to make myself feel like I'm drinking something posher, like I am actually drinking wine when I'm not because I don't like wine. So I pour it into a wine glass and sit down and chill in the evening like I'm having a nice glass of wine. It's a bit weird really, but that's what I do. But I went into Asda the other day and saw this on offer 
it wasn't an offer actually, it was like six pound. I'm sure I've got it for like 4 dollars before. Anyway, it was six pound, but you got two of these free. Can you see that? It's, it's got big on it and it's like a wine glass, but like a, it's got fingerprints all over it. Um, like a long wine glass, I don't know. I really liked it, I thought perfect. So this is now what I use to drink my Copperberg in. That's literally it, that is it for this month. Hopefully next month I'll find a few more things that are my favourites of the month. But that's it, nice and short and sweet this month. And yeah, I'll see you next month in like no time. It'll feel like five minutes, probably. But thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed, please subscribe. And yeah, I do favourite videos, I do a bunch of other stuff, and I'm always really awkward at asking people to subscribe. Anyway, forget that. Don't have to subscribe if you don't subscribe. You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to. Goodbye, I will see you in my next video.